Next up is a solution to a stinky problem. Hello, sharks. My name is Regina Krishy. I'm from Winterville, North Carolina, and I'm currently seeking $75,000 for 40% equity in my company, Sharks. Who here wants to smell a dirty, stinky diaper? Nobody. <laughs> That's what I thought. So it's no surprise that parents everywhere will try anything to control diaper odor. We'll try plastic bags. We'll try fragrances. We'll try expensive diaper pails. Let's be honest, they don't always work. And if they do, they don't control the odor for very long. So when we had to start putting my son's dirty diapers outside, I knew that something had to change. So that's why I created Diaper Dust. Diaper Dust is a diaper deodorizing powder. It's the first and only of its kind. You simply sprinkle it over the contents of the dirty diaper before you roll it up and throw it away. So sharks, if you're smelling what I'm smelling, <laughs> that is a deal in the air with diaper dust. Oh my God. I'm so worried about how we're testing this. Um, so what you have in front of you is a simulated dirty diaper. Now Ew. what I want you to do is I want you to open it up and give it a nice big whiff. Oh! No. Oh! Oh, wow! Don't panic! Reach for your diaper dust! Reach for your diaper dust! Oh, it's so horrible. works. I'm sorry, what were we just smelling? What was that? So that's actually a prank sp spray? Oh. Let me tell you, it's worse than the real deal. <laughs> yeah. Is this powdered carbon? Yes, it is activated charcoal and sodium bicarbonate. So the big question is, are there others like this out there? And what would stop somebody from doing it and making the same thing? So right now, there is no other product that is marketed to do what we do in terms of the utilization of it. So we have a patent pending um, application for specifically using it inside the diaper. Somebody could make this at home, but they're not going to want to. <laughs> I look like I came right out of the Industrial Revolution after I finished making this product in my backyard. There I am. <laughs> there I am making oh, it. Oh, it's like a compost machine. Yes. That is just so yeah. awesome that oh, you just went for that. it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the century is the mother of invention, right? Is this your full-time job? It's not. I am actually a full-time nurse. I am a travel nurse. Oh, okay. How are people responding to the product so far, and what have you sold? So my sales, uh, I, I started in December December 1st, 2020. Uh, my sales aren't gr the greatest. I've sold $3,000. It started out just friends and family. Then I got on Amazon in February. What do you sell it for? What does it cost you to make? Um, it's. $3.15, and I sell it for $14. So what are you doing to market the product? Well, I'm, I'm just posting on social media. A lot of my, a lot of the sales are just word of mouth. It's also being used for adult incontinence. Okay, so $75,000 for 40%. You came in here to do a deal, there's no question. Yes. Now, how much work is the shark going to have to do to make this product work? You said you're a full-time travel nurse. This is an idea. I'm looking for mentorship. As a travel nurse, I have to go onto different units in different hospitals, and I have to hit the ground running. The floor that I'm currently on is trauma and transplant. I had to get on that floor and learn trauma. I had to get on that floor and learn transplant. So I learned from the best. I learned from the ICU nurses. I learned from the doctors. And I am proud to say I am one of the best nurses on that floor. Yeah, and what, what a so serious cool. floor to be on. It I mean, is it's it's, really it's critical. very intense, but I love it. I am calm, cool, and collected during a code. Um, I am out of my element in this room, but it's the room I'm meant to be in because you have so much to offer. So yes, I'm gonna be asking you a ton of questions and I hope you're okay with that, but I will be the quickest bird to, to leave the nest that you will ever see. Look, I believe there's a demand for this product, but there's a ton of work to do here, and, and my baby diaper days are way gone. Are I your even... incontinence days over, though? Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've never been here that before. <laughs> 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 and with that, so you have parents. 
parents. You have parents, I right? I get it, but it's just be... not for me. It's okay. not for me. I'm out. Thank you. Reg, how do you scale it so you can sell a million of them? I need this in a factory. I need this out of my But backyard. have you gone through the process of talking to people to I see? I have not. Okay, so that's part of the whole process. Right. This isn't my first language. My first language is nursing, but I'm willing to learn. I respect people's money, and I will fight for our money. I will fight. I fight for my patients. Regina, I'm objecting um, more than anything, uh, certainly not to you. You're 100% heartfelt. The most important thing, though, is your part-time with a high-pressure job that you take very seriously, again, to your credit. Uh, what you need, I believe, is a working partner. You don't need a shark who's going to invest. You don't even know what you'd use money for and if you need money, honestly. So I won't be your shark today. I'm out because I don't think it's really what you need. Thank you. I will say that I do have some capital. I have a home that I own that I am willing to sell. But it No, you're not. Don't sell your house. Listen, for me, it's not far along enough. I wish you the best, but I'm out. That's right. Thank you, Lori. First of all, I really commend you for standing here in front of all of us. You've got a really important job, and to be doing what you do during COVID, unbelievable. So hats off to you. I think anyone who stands in their garden with a composting machine <laughs> barefoot, like doing this, it's it, it's unbelievable what you've done. Thank you. I completely get it. I mean, I have two children, and I've had that like terrible. You know, you open the trash, and it stinks, and you know, it's like it's oh, just it's awful. Just bad. I think the issue for me on this right now is that you've really not figured out how you're marketing this product. And there is this huge, you know, influencer economy around mums. The best way for you to start creating awareness around this product is to make the mum influencers your best friend, right? Get the product out, show them how it works. So imagine you've got a mum with a real following who just likes this product and you start to get the word of mouth out. If I were you, I'd put any energy that I've got into marketing this. So for me right now, I'm out, but I do wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. I do plan on walking away from nursing as, as long as I have the right mentor that Well, let's, can let's talk about that, right? I want to be that partner that can help you, right? Because you've demonstrated every bit that you are an entrepreneur. You figured out how to make this gunk in the backyard. You figured out how to sell it. You figured out the formulations. You figured out how to do a patent, all while it not being your first language. So I'll make you an offer. I'll give you $75,000 for 40%. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> is that a yes? That is a deal. Wow. Congratulations. What a good ending. Oh, I had a pinch. Lucky woman. I can't believe this is happening. It's happening. Congratulations. This will be amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you well, so much. For all you do for other people, now it's time for you to have somebody help you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Congrats, Regina. Well done. Thank you. I just got a deal with Mark Cuban. I am so grateful and blown away. Blown away. And not just not just with the deal, but with all of the feedback and just how amazing those people really are. They're better than they're better than when you watch them on TV. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Tank YouTube channel and click on that notification bell to keep up with everything that's bubbling in the tank.